You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, we're going to talk about Caitlin Clark, but this time we got to tie in with the Las Vegas Raiders owner, Mark Davis, somebody, uh, somebody that we've talked a hell of a lot about on this channel because we cover the NFL and the Raiders are one of the teams that we talk about a whole lot. And in fact, I thought I might have a Raiders video coming because uh, they're getting very close on Tom Brady's ownership, partial ownership of the Raiders. Now, in case you don't know this, Mark Davis, the owner of the Raiders, is also the owner of the Las Vegas Aces. That's right, Aja Asia Wilson's team, and they recently got a sponsorship from, I believe, the, the city of Vegas. Uh, and they're being investigated over it. Now, I got to tell you, um, I, don't, I don't love the things that were said by Wilson, etc. Um, and I don't like the fact that, for whatever reason, Mark Davis decided to bring up Caitlin Clark in all this. But he did. He, they're investigating him. I don't know why he brought up Caitlin Clark, but... I also don't understand what the investigation is about far as what's the problem. Why can't the city sponsor the team if they want to? Or are them being involved in sponsorship? And it's not the city as much as it's the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. Is that like the Chamber of Commerce? I mean, that's what that's what I was thinking when I read that. So... We're going to take a look at that in a minute, and I haven't, again, I don't have any idea why he brought up Caitlin Clark, but he did. But before we get into that, let's get to Monday night's Caitlin Clark rating, and it was another big one. The NHL game had a direct lead-in from the WNBA featuring Caitlin Clark. It was the Connecticut Sun versus the Indiana Fever, and it averaged 1.56 million viewers on ESPN. That's a big number. In fact, this is how big. The third largest WNBA audience in the last 22 years. That's pretty big. And the second largest ever on cable. Wow. It was the fourth WNBA game to hit a million viewer mark in just one week of play. Guys, if you think this woman is not moving the needle, you are mistaken. The fourth million view plus WNBA game in a week after the league had gone nearly 16 years without a single seven figure audience guys that's that's what branding power superstardom that's what it looks like right there and Caitlin Clark is very responsible for that bringing her brand and I I've said before I think her brand is bigger than the league itself. Um, so, anyway, let's get to Mark Davis and uh, exactly what he had to say about this investigation. He's pissed, and uh, I'm not exactly sure why there is an investigation here. The Las Vegas Aces owner Mark Davis says there is, quote, there was absolutely nothing done wrong in a $1.2 million sponsorship deal for his players that reportedly has sparked a WNBA investigation into the franchise. Davis made his comments to CBS Sports' Jonathan Jones on Wednesday from the NFL Spring Meetings in Nashville. Davis is also the owner of the Raiders. The Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority announced Friday that it was sponsoring all 12 of the Aces players with $100,000 deals. The LVCVA announced the sponsorships in a video featuring the president and CEO, Steve Hill, speaking with Aces players in the locker room. Quote, the offer's really simple, Hill said. We want you to just play. We want to keep you repping Las Vegas, and if you do a three-peat, that will be icing on the cake. That's it. According to multiple reports, the WNBA is now investigating sponsorships. The WNBA has a hard salary cap of $1.46 million that's, that the sponsorship deal almost matches. 
The $100,000 individual sponsorship deals exceed the salaries of half the players on the team and require them to only play basketball. Uh, Aces weren't involved in negotiations. Per Kelly Lawson Freeman of the Las Vegas Review-Journal, the LVCVA organizes sponsorships directly with the players' agents and actively avoided coordinating with the team to keep from violating the WNBA salary cap rules. I don't understand. If it's a, if it's a, a sponsorship, why does it got anything to do with the salary cap? That makes no sense to me. Hill told the Review Journal that the LBCAVA has 100 plus influencers that we pay on a regular basis to promote the city. Okay, so they're out there and they're supposed to be just promoting the city of Las Vegas. I mean, it is like, I guess, probably the biggest tourist destination in the country, I would guess. Quote, there was absolutely nothing done wrong, Davis said. And I think it's a little sad that they use the word investigation instead of something a little softer. Hey, we might look into it or whatever, but they're going to find there's nothing wrong. Now, this is where he drags Kalen Clark into this. He then suggested a double standard while pointing to a reported eight-figure sponsorship deal for Indiana Fever rookie Kalen Clark with Nike. Quote, Nike is the owner of the WNBA is an owner of the WNBA, and they're allowed to sponsor Caitlin Clark for $28 million for one player. And nobody's complaining or investigating. And I think it's great that Nike's doing that. But let's give some credit where credit is due. Las Vegas Convention Authority is stepping up and recognizing these women. Davis also advocated for more financial opportunities for WNBA players. So he's not bitching that Caitlin Clark got the deal. In fact, he said he's all for it. He's just got a problem with the fact that Nike's got an ownership stake in the league. I kind of get his point here. Um, If, in fact, we get them hundreds of thousands of dollars or get into the millions of dollars for these players, they can stay in the community. They don't have to go play overseas. They'll have the resources to stay in the community, work with young kids, and all of that. So... That's what we're talking about. It does go on to talk about the fact that they were under investigation, the team, because of Becky Hamlin and one of their players and some of the things that went on when she was pregnant. Uh, The coach, I guess, wasn't very happy that she got pregnant or something, all that. I think I did a video on the other sports channel on it. It's been so long, I can't remember exactly what it was. So it wasn't that Mark Davis was shading Caitlin Clark, but he's like, look, What's the difference here? You know, and I've got no... If this is sponsorship deals for the players, I mean, I can't act like I've got a big problem with that, and I kind of get Mark Davis's point, frankly. Um, I guess he brought up Caitlin Clark just simply because that's obviously been a very public sponsorship deal as of late in the league. I mean, I kind of get that. But he wasn't hating on Caitlin Clark in herself, you know, in in getting the deal. He's got no problem with the actual Nike deal. He's just like, why are they looking into us? It doesn't make sense. A lot of players have got sponsorship deals. I get his point here. I really do. Uh, It is going to be interesting to see where this goes, though. I mean, are the the league... Does the league want to grow? (laughs) Sometimes I do wonder that. Uh, The commissioner's been very good about saying some things since Caitlin Clark came in. But you do have to have to wonder if they have an opportunity to stay over here instead of going overseas because of sponsorship deals, what's the problem? I just don't get it. Because they're not blatantly hawking some kind of deodorant or some product or a McDonald's commercial. It's something, it's promotion of the city of Las Vegas. Uh, show up in some commercials, you know? I mean, I don't get it. I guess I don't understand what could be the violation here. Unless they're expecting the players to get all this money and them not actually have to do anything. I mean, hell, they could all show up in one sponsorship ad together and they could say, well, we paid them $100,000 to be in this one ad. You get my point. 
Tell me what you think. Caitlin Clark, another big, big WNBA rating. There's going to be a game on Ion. I do not expect the ratings to be big on that. Uh, Even though that's on over-the-air antenna, I mean, I don't think a lot of people even know what Ion channel is. I had to look it up, and then I was like, oh, I think this is actually on free broadcast TV. So it's going to be interesting to see if a rating can carry over there. (laughs) First three ratings of the year. All three, one, two, three, biggest games in 22 years. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.